All right, so I received a call from a family that I helped uh, show homes to here in Idaho last year. They're from California, and they're planning on getting out. They were considering either Idaho or Nashville, Tennessee. And they were up front. They said, hey, Greg, we're coming to Idaho. We're checking your area out. We're also checking out Tennessee. You know, it's going to be a hard move for us because we have kids in high school, and there's going to be a junior this year. And, you know, it's going to be emotional, but we just feel like this is the right time to go. So they came up here. I had a great time with them, showed them some incredible houses here in Idaho. And we even got into escrow on one, but circumstances changed. We had to back out. Time went on. Didn't hear from them for a, from a while, and I found out that they got into a house in Nashville, Tennessee. So I was surprised to hear from them because when I was talking to them, they said, Greg, for the most part, we love where we live, but there's some things that make us regret not buying a home with you in Idaho. One of them was the humidity. We cannot stand all this humidity here in Tennessee. We wish we would have been in Idaho to have that drier climate. Second, the seasons. We love how Idaho has the seasons. Even though you have cold winters, they're short. And so we miss that. We should have jumped at the opportunity to stay in Idaho. And lastly is the distance between getting back to California to visit family. It's just a big trip when they wanna go. And if they would have bought here in Idaho, it's an hour and a half flight, or if they need to make a full day, go down that day, it's just a full day's drive getting to Idaho. But they do have to wait one year, let their son finish high school. But when they're reflecting, they do wish they would have just purchased here in Idaho. So what they said is, Greg, give us a year, we're coming back, send us some properties that you think will work for us. If the right one pops up, who knows, maybe we'll come and buy it before our son graduates. All right, a little bonus story from someone else who I had a Zoom, a Zoom call with, and they moved to Texas. And they said, oh my gosh, Greg, we're out, we're done, we can't do it. For three similar reasons, well, two, two similar reasons. Um, distance from Texas to California because they still have parents in California. So getting back to visit them, it's a big deal. You know, in Idaho, like I said before, it's just an hour and a half flight and you're home. The second thing they mentioned was the weather. The, <laughs> that was a little surprising to them and they don't want to be in a surprise area. They just want to have normal rain, normal snow, normal cold, normal, normal heat. The, but the last thing he mentioned was the white knuckle driving. He's like, in Texas, I still was white knuckle driving. In Idaho, I felt more calm. I didn't feel like I had to like race on the freeway to get somewhere. I felt like in Idaho when I was driving around, it was just a slower pace. It was more easy going. I didn't see any, I wasn't like on high alert for defensive driving. It was just more go with the flow, go with the speed. So they're planning on coming back to Idaho as well. That's just another example of someone else who moved to a different state regretted it and wish they would have come to Idaho. If you are like in between or you're kind of in that situation where you're looking around at different states to kind of kind of consider moving to, I highly recommend you give Idaho another shot. If you've already been up here and it wasn't your thing and maybe you're looking at Texas, maybe you're looking at Tennessee or the, one of the Carolinas, I would just highly recommend point back to Idaho because I think what I'm learning from people who leave California for those states in Florida, Texas, Tennessee, Carolinas, is they love it initially, but over time it wears out on them. And some people it wears out on them sooner than later, and so they wish they would have come here to Idaho. So if you're thinking about, hey, I'm already in, I'm already sold on Idaho, Greg, like let's go, then I want you to go to my website, www.goingidaho.com, and start looking at all the different places that we have for sale here in Idaho. Then. Connect with us over on social media. We're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're on Instagram. Join our private group and you can start following and seeing what's happening here on a local level. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope it kind of painted a good picture about what people are feeling once they come here to Idaho and then leave and purchase somewhere else and then look back and think, ah, what have we just done? We should have just stayed in Idaho with Greg and his team. So if this video was helpful, go ahead and share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, enjoy the videos and go Idaho.